The elements are all around us. They're in the food we eat, the air we breathe. So today I'm showing you a really cool game that's all about taking those elements, forming them into compounds, and scoring points and trying to best your opponents. Today I'm showing you the really cool upcoming Kickstarter game, Ion, a compound building game. In Ion, you're trying to build chains of neutrally charged compounds. What I have set up here is for a uh, two to four player game. And first you're gonna set out, you're gonna set out with a three, or be four uh, random elements from the deck. And these are um, available for you throughout the entire game with some little chips that you have that I'll explain in just a second. You're also gonna put out uh, two compound cards. And these compound cards will give you bonus points at the end of the game. So if you're able to make uh, one or two of the compounds on both the cards, you're going to get extra points. For example, if you do uh, the NAF compound, you're going to get two bonus points. If you're able to do NAF and KF, you're going to get five bonus points. And same thing for this one. You start off the game. Zoom out here. You're going to start off the game with some uh, little chits here. <clears throat> First you have one that says take from center. You're also going to have one that says select two. And then RXN, was this, which is their abbreviation for reaction. You will also get eight cards to start off with. And these will show the elements that you have that you're able to work with. So let me show you how some of these elements work. So obviously what you're trying to do is you're trying to get a neutrally charged string of uh, compounds or a compound that's neutrally charged. So what you'll do on your turn is let's just say I want to take this hydroxide. Hydroxide has a negative charge on it. So first I'm going to do is I'm going to take my card and I'm going to place it face down in front of me. I'm going to wait for all the other players to select a card and place it face down. When everybody's ready, everybody flips their card over and they reveal it. Um, obviously the first one you have, you have nothing to attach this to, so it's going to stand alone by itself. Then, here's where it gets interesting, you take all of your cards and you pass them to the next player. So you pass your cards around and you get a whole new set of cards. So you look at what you got in your hand, and you see what you can do, and you will choose a card to play, and you will place it face down. Well, see, previously I had played this uh, negatively charged um, hydroxide, so I need something positive to make this a neutrally charged, because a positive plus a negative cancels each other out. So let's see what I have in my hand. Well, I have a calcium and I got potassium. Uh, let's, let's do uh, well, let's do a calcium. And I'll show you why I did the calcium instead of the potassium in just a second. Oh no, do you know what? That won't work. That won't work at all. So do you know what? That's a horrible move. Let's do actually do the, the potassium. I'll explain why I shouldn't do the calcium actually. So let me put out the potassium here. That goes face down in front of me. Everybody else chooses what they want to do. And then you all flip your cards. So I did the positive uh, potassium, which I'm actually going to attach to my hydroxide. And as I showed you before, now this is a negative and a positive. They cancel each other out. Now these are able to be scored. So then you look at the number down here, 3 and 4. So that will be the score that I get for those. So obviously, you know, we get a 7 for those. And then you continue on until every player only holds three cards. When you only have three cards left, you're going to pick one more to go, and then the, the game is over and you score what you have. Let me also show you why I just didn't play the, this one here. This is actually a positive, but it's a two. So for me to play it, I would need two negatives to put on here. But it's pretty good points to do that. So it's a risk if you want to see if you can try to be able to get uh, get the negative on the calcium so that way you'll be able to score it. But then let me also show you there's another 
type of card that's actually kind of interesting. These are the noble gases. Now these have no charge on them whatsoever. So these never are part of a compound. But what you do is for each unique noble gas that you're able to have down in your tableau, you will receive points. If you have um, one of the uh, noble gases, you'll receive two points. If you have uh, two of the noble gases, you receive five points. And if you have all three unique noble gases, you'll receive nine points. So it's a good thing to try to, to uh, chain together and try to get some buku points with those. Now let me explain these little tokens that I talk, told you about earlier. Take from center. On your turn, you can decide if you want to take a card that's in the center row here. So what you'll do is you'll take your little token and you'll flip it over and then you'll be able to play a card from the center onto your board and you play a card from your hand. But if you look, this has negative three on it. So that means if you decide to play your take from center, this player would get negative three points. There's also the select two. If you choose to play the select two, you'll take two cards from your hand and you'll place them face down. And then you'll flip your token over and, well, this one gets negative two points if you decide to use that. And once you do use your take from, ta or, excuse me, select two, you actually draw a card from, from the elements deck to replace the card that you, you played in addition to from your hand. Lastly is the reaction tile. The reaction tile will let you rearrange what you already have down with all of your compounds down in your tableau. It'll also let you steal one of your opponent's uh, elements as long as it's not part of a scoring bunch. So when you flip that over, it has negative four points. However, whenever you decide to use the reaction token, the reaction token doesn't happen immediately. You say, I'm going to use a reaction. You flip it over, you're going to get the penalty, but then you wait till everybody's played their very last card of the round. Then you can rearrange stuff, you can steal stuff then. So let me show you actually a really cool thing about these tokens. As you see, if you play, you know, all three, you're going to get negative nine points. But it's like, okay, well, why would I ever do the reaction if I know it's going to be negative four points? Well, you don't know if it's going to be negative four points. Because there are several sets of these tokens in the game, and each have a random distribution. If you look at the very, 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 very bottom here, they all, my, all my tokens have C. So these are all the C tokens. But I have these tokens here, and these are the F tokens. And as you can see, the reaction is only negative 3 versus the negative 4 of this one. The take 2 is a negative 4, and this one's a negative 2. So it's a random distribution of, of, of however these are are put out. Let me show you another one here. Well, that's the same numbers here. Let me show you. There we go. For this one, the select two is negative five, whereas the take from center is only negative one, and their reaction is a negative three. Still, that equals nine. So if you use them all, you're always going to get negative nine points, but you don't know what the distribution is going to be. So that kind of makes it a little you know, push your luck as to whether you actually want to do any of these to see if they're going to benefit you or not. And of course, at the end, once you have played your last card, you discard the last two that you have, and whoever has the most points will win. So Ion actually really surprised me. I knew it was all about how the compounds come together and all the elements and stuff, and it looked very educational. I mean, I was like, oh, I don't know. Educational games usually aren't that good. But this has a really, really good game behind it. It's actually really fun. And what's really cool is um, if you look at the bonus cards that tell you at the very top, they actually tell you what those compounds are. They'll tell you if they're like alkaline salts, if they'll tell you different types of things, they kind of give a little explanation of what they are. So you do learn a little bit with the game, which is really fun. And there's a really cool game behind it. Trading those cards is just really cool. I mean, I played in a two-player game, so you gotta think, okay, here's my cards, I'm gonna give them to my opponent now, now I gotta remember what did I have in my hand, so I can try to build what I have and try to play off these two hands that I'm working with. However, you throw a third or a fourth player in there, or even the fifth player, and that kind of goes out the window because, well, I don't have that good of a memory to remember 
what cards everybody has. So I don't remember what's coming into my hand, so I just kind of got play. I was like, okay, what am I looking for? What I'm trying to find? What do I think is coming to me? And it, it made, makes it kind of difficult to see where, where your plan is going to be. So then that's when those little tokens come in to see whether you can flip those over, give yourself some negative points, but maybe be able to manipulate the situation to a little bit better where I can play two of these cards or there's a card in the center that I really, really want. So this game has a really awesome concept to it. It's really fun. It is on Kickstarter right now as we speak. So please, there's a link uh, down below. Please click it. Um, check out the game. It looks really fun. He actually has two other games. I'm actually interested now in checking out after playing this game. Um, those are available on his website, which I'll actually uh, link down below. John Covio is uh, the designer of, of this game, of Ion, and of the other two games that I'm going to link down because those are really cool. I'll probably be picking those up. See, so you already got a fan, John. And um, please check out that Kickstarter. Back them. This is a really great game. Whether you are into science, not into science, um, educator or anything, this is a great classroom game. So hey, science teachers out there, this is perfect for a classroom setting because it plays really fast. So please check it out, look for them, back them, make this game come to life.